The following is a clip from my popular YouTube live streams answering your questions. If you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new videos. And if any time this video resonates with you, please hit that like button so I can be seen in the YouTube algorithms. Really quickly, my coaching is what I call heart-centered radical honesty. It's direct, a little tough love, and a lot of heart. And occasionally I use expletives to enhance the sentence. So if an F-bomb or two isn't your cup of tea, I suggest logging off right now. Lastly, these are my thoughts, my perceptions, my opinions. By no means do I suggest this is the truth. You have to decide the truth for yourself. I'm a bit of a contrarian, so my advice goes contrary to public opinion and traditional uh, expectations. All right, take it away, Jonathan. Let's go swim. Lynn writes, question. Have you had any weird or funny responses when you have been asked what commitment looks like to them? Hmm. So here's the thing. I've noticed this as a dating and relationship coach. I work with about 50 to 80 women a year in my program. And all of them say, I know what I want. 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 Then they go through my proprietary coaching program. In fact, one of the first things they do is describe their ideal relationship on day one. Then they go through my proprietary program I created. And at the end, they have to come up with their new relationship desires. And can you guess what every woman says to me at the end of my coaching program? By the way, link below to schedule a discovery call with me. <laughs> they all say the same thing. Jonathan, why didn't they teach me this in school? Jonathan, why didn't my parents teach me this? Jonathan, why didn't I learn this before I married the wrong guy? Folks, most men and women don't know what they want. Now, I'm very crystal clear. I say this in most videos. I'm looking for, and this is just a sample of what I'm looking for. Actually, let me read to you my match.com profile. You might get a kick out of this. So let's go swimming. I'm going to read you my match.com profile. This kind of illustrates it. Let me start with the following. I would like to get remarried or at least live together, and I'm seeking a woman who feels the same. For me, this isn't about growing old with someone. I want to grow in life and love with a special woman. Plus, I promise my next partner emotional maturity, lots of great sex, chocolate, massages, flirty text messages, poetry, travel, and tacos on Tuesday. How does that sound? The reason why I'm on this dating site, as well as a few others, is that I'm using any tool to connect with my soulmate and life partner. So you might have, so you won't have to be concerned if I'm going to waste your time. I hope you feel the same. Is that a deal? And just so you know, in my world, commitment and partnership are what I want. And the last thing I'm seeking is something casual. Do you feel the same way? If yes, drop me a note if there's mutual connection, meaning we are attracted to each other's profiles, let's talk. And th that goes both ways. The way I describe myself is an outwardly looking alpha male with a big teddy bear heart. Maybe I'd say I'm a good guy with an edge and yet I'm human with insecurities or dare I say flaws. What freaks me out most is condiments. I can't stand to be near ketchup or mustard. And yet what I can do is hold your heart like a precious jewel as both your lover and heart protector. Professionally, I'm a writer, speaker, and coach choosing to be more of service than chasing egoic power because I want to spread a message of self-love to all who are suffering. Ideally, I'd like to meet a conscious, empowered, inquisitive woman who is, in, is a combination of feminine and masculine, there I said it, in the sense she is both a giver and a receiver. She has a big heart that yearns to be expressed with emotional maturity, and she's capable of truly opening her heart to love. She is either an empty nest or no children with the time to explore and play in the depths of love. She is a natural giver without being a doormat. She's financially independent and she also has a generous sharing nature. My hope is when we see each other's profiles, we say, wow, as if we've known each other for a lifetime and she or I will reach out with a heartfelt message expressing desire to connect. She believes the mating dance is a two lane street and she is confident within herself to approach the process with love in her heart. Once we connect here, let's get off the phone to hear each other's voice and then plan on meeting. As I said before, I'm not here to waste your time. No pressure when we meet because this isn't a sprint. 
The path to love and partnership is a gentle, beautiful, connected dance of mind, body, spirit, and emotions. Lastly, if you recognize me from YouTube or Apple Podcasts, yes, it's me. And yes, I want a serious relationship. By the way, here are just some of the feelings I hope we experience together. Desire, respect, emotional safety, acceptance, teamwork, curiosity, luxury, rootedness, depth, fun, play, laughter, spontaneity, intimacy, and passionate, passionate, passionate connection. Thank you kindly for taking the time to read this for this far. Yes, I'm a graduate of the Hoffman process and insight one, two, three. One more thing, and this is a tough one to share. My youngest son at 19 passed away in the summer of 2018. So please be gentle with my heart as it is a bit tender. Folks, that didn't take, that didn't take five minutes to write. That's taken me a lifetime to determine what I'm truly seeking. And I've shared this before and I'll share it again. I'm seeking a relationship where we spend, you know, coming back to your question, where we spend three or four days and nights a week together doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, teamwork building skills, both in our personal and professional life, intimacy, both physical and emotional intimacy that, as I said before, leading to either living together or getting married. Folks, I want you to think of it this way. Go to a calendar, go to your calendar. There's my calendar, okay? Well, that's actually my calendar, <laughs> okay? I want you to think of, put this person on your calendar. What are you doing on Monday? Are you just talking on the phone? What are you doing on Tuesday? Are you grabbing an ice cream or going to watch the sunset at the beach like where I live? What are you doing on Wednesday? What are you doing on Thursday? Are you spending Friday and Saturday together? Are you visiting friends? Are you going on a road trip to Santa Barbara, San Diego, or maybe up to the mountains? What are you doing? Are you hanging out with friends? Are you going to weddings? What are you doing together? Well, Jonathan, I'm in a long distance relationship and we spend all day talking on the phone, 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 on the phone. Guys and guys and gals, we, men don't bond through the telephone the same way you do. We bond through activities. I can't remember. I only remember one phone call I've ever gotten in my life. The day my son passed away. It's the only phone call I'll never forget. But I remember that time my ex-girlfriend and I went to Chicago. I remember those trips we went to New York. I remember the time we went to Vancouver. I remember the Burning Man party we went to. I remember so many different experiences. I don't remember phone calls. Why is it I don't remember phone calls? Oh, because that's not an experience. Folks, if you want a relationship, it's time to experience it outside of these devices. So I invite you to describe what are you looking for? I'll tell you, most women who hire me have no fucking clue, but and that's, that's why they come to me for help. And that's why in the last two weeks, I've had two weeks today, I've had four clients reach out to me. They're in happier relationships. I've shared these pictures already with you guys. Here's, a, here's one of them. She got engaged. Here's another one. They're, they're together. Here's another one. Oh, wait, that's the other way. Here's another one. Whoosh. <laughs> Don't want to show it. Um, that's just three out of the three pictures out of four. I am blessed to help you truly figure out who's right for you. Lynn, that was a long winded answer to your question. Let me know. Did this resonate with you? Any of you, did this resonate with you? Say yes, Jonathan, that resonated with me and say thank you. All right, Lynn, thank you so much for that question, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan bear hug. And by the way, most women don't seem to know what commitment looks like for them. And then you wonder why it's such a shit show out there. Women don't know and guys don't know because men are winging it. They're winging it. They're winging it. Read, Ladies, before the penis goes inside the vagina, read the book Eight Dates. That's a great blueprint for figuring out the answer to all these questions. Will you do it? Please let me know. All right. Oops. <laughs> Woo all right. Thanks again so much, Lynn. I appreciate it.